on the cusp of, of one of the greatest starts in program history. So we all have the same recipe, but we all create different dish. There's no question Sacramento State's is now not a bow, is ready to eat this season. So this season I'm cooking. <laughs> the 6'5 center is certainly bringing the heat in the post. She's growing as we're growing. Me being the smallest person, her being the tallest, um, she's just really been like my big sister on this team. Uh, she's everybody's big sister. As a sophomore, she was named the Big Sky Newcomer of the Year while leading the league in rebounding and field goal percentage. Last year, she had a huge role and got to play through her mistakes. She got to develop, she got to grow. And everything was like a big flash to the face. And I just tried to, let's say, survive. But this season, I know my opponents a little bit better. And I feel more comfortable in my own game during my summer preparation. That preparation has led to separation as she currently ranks fourth in the nation in field goal percentage. This is a team sport. It's a coach effort of helping me with my preseason preparation. It's a conditioning coach effort. It's my teammates effort. And I put a lot of work into my craft. She's that big tall guard. Uh, she brings a lot of energy, a lot of loudness when it's easy uh, on and off the court. Uh, she's powerful. Um, she's athletic. Um, and now she's adding the finesse component. Nadabo first took up the game at 12 years old in the Czech Republic. In high school, I was invited to a national team, but I was always the 12th on the bench. I was just happy to be there. She then made her way to the States by way of the JUCO route at Iowa Western. It gave me amazing introduction to American basketball. That's what I needed. And then I got offers to a lot of schools and I chose Sac State over bigger schools because I knew that even though I'm confident in my game, there are so many imperfections that could set me back if I chose huge schools. I always knew that the glory and the flashy stuff will wait. All of it will wait till I will be ready to receive it. And not only is Izzy a beast on the floor, she's got game off the court as well. well obviously, it's not real, everybody. <laughs> it's not real. This is not how hair grows. She's going to do her hair. You know, every day we wonder, like, even she's best dressed too. If you see her after games, post games, best dresser also. So best hair and best dresser is Izzy for sure. Have my afro, have disco party. And then what are we going to do with the afro? Let's put it into some braids. Her hair and her personality, they go together. In Sacramento, Michelle Dapper, KCRA 3 News. Oh, she's a character. Oh, she and totally such an is. athlete. And, yeah. and she's got that wisdom. You can just sense that when she right. talks. Izzy and the Hornets host Eastern Washington at the uh, at the nest on Saturday afternoon. And she's, you can tell she's a really good team player. Oh, absolutely. You can just tell by it's her attitude. Person. Yeah. Well, if you have an athlete, coach, or team that you would like to nominate as a My 58 Superstar of the Week, make sure to email us at superstars at kcra.com.